Morning, it's the 12th of January, 2023. Not long John this morning, he's overlaid. Uh, don't even know where to start today, because overnight, it's been announced that three million people on prepayment meters couldn't afford to put uh, any energy on the on the meters in 2022. How sad is that? It's been announced that 100,000 PCS members are going to go on strike February 1st. Public Service Union, civil servants. 30 pence Lee were at it again yesterday. He took Steve Bray's hat off outside, uh, I don't know where he was, somewhere around Parliament. Actually attacked him where I saw him, but and that being the other way around, I'm sure Steve Bray would have got arrested. And the good news, if you're sick and disabled, now you can get a job and you can keep your benefits. Win win. Don't think that'll work. Uh, what else has happened? Ambulance staff were on site yesterday. Anyway, the man who stole the show, we talked about the uh, MP for uh, Stoke Content North yesterday. Today we're going to talk about the MP for Stoke Content South, and his name is Jack Brereton, Conservative, Conservative MP. He's 31 years old. He won the seat when he was 26. He looks about 12 years old. I think how he won the seat to be in a safe lab Labour seat for eight years. Tories just took anybody in it, not expecting to win, and they won, and they stuck with him. Oh, man amongst the boys. Yesterday in uh, meeting at Transport Committee, and Mary said, look that big. Well, Mick Lynch pulled his towers down, slapped his ass, and uh, pulled them back up again. And he was saying to Mick Lynch, yeah, there's no public support. Uh, more members are crossing your picket line uh, on every side there. Uh, Mick Lynch says, where's your evidence for this? Because we're hundred percent, and Jack uh, Brereton said I get from Network Rail. So well, Network McLean said well, Network Rail employ fifty thousand people. Only twenty one thousand of my members work for Network Rail. Other thirty thousand aren't in my union. So there's going to be more men in work on strike days than not. <laughs> anyway, he took a big gulp and uh, McLean's cup. Proceeded to tell him about spouting propaganda and talking shit, which he actually were. And then, uh, old Jake, for his sins, he, had, he said to Mick Whelan, and uh, didn't he think, think that trains drivers were earning too much? And how much did he think they should earn? Like there should be some sort of cap on what people earn. Like I say, he made his cell look that big. He's a man amongst the boys, and I'd love to know. I mean, yesterday I asked people what, what uh, Jonathan Gullis had done for people of Stoke on St North, and basically he's done that. Nothing. They said he got voted in because uh, they shut all industries in Stoke Park and his pits and that. Uh, but I can tell you now, it wasn't the Labour Party who shut the industries down over the Tories, so why would you vote for them? And I'm going to ask the same, people to Stoke on Saint, uh, same to people on Stoke on St South. What has Jack Brereton done for you? What can he do for anybody? Looks as he's, he's an idiot. Anyway, in that meeting, Steve Montgomery from the uh, Rail Delivery Group, the RDG, he was asked a question by uh, Ben Bradshaw, Labour MP for Exeter, I think it is, and Ben Bradshaw said to him, how much money have you had off government during its times? Steve Montgomery said 500 million quid they've had. The government have paid the RDG 500 million pounds of money, your money, taxpayers' money, to keep these strikes going. Why do they want to keep them going? Why do they want people on strike? Why do they hate the union so much? I'll tell you why. Because they're sticking up for the fucking members. Wakey, wakey!